No kidding. Yeah. So this showed up after you got bumped on the forehead by something, right? Yes, sir. I worked in construction and uh, mm -hmm. I had an entry door fall right. on me. No kidding. Yeah, so it was, it was falling for a good maybe week or so and then... Um, did you get knocked out or... <laughs> no, sir. I kind of got lightheaded for about an hour or so. But you didn't lose consciousness or anything? Yeah, no, sir. We're going to need the beta dime piece, man. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to numb this up for you, make a little incision and hopefully empty this. It looks like a cyst of some kind. Maybe an epidermoid cyst. And so just for everybody's orientation, this this is your head, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And this direction is the nose, and this direction is the top of the head. So everybody kind of knows where we are. The first thing I'm going to do is your little betadine, and we're going to clean this up for you, prep the skin. If I hurt you at any point, or if you feel any pain, you're going to tell me, all right? Okay. All right, good deal. There it is. Here's the medicine. I'm going to raise a little bleb here. Try not to get this to, to spray out. We want this to kind of stay. Yeah. Can. So the skin's color is kind of changing as we do this because of the turgor pressure. Now a lot of people, I read recently, somebody thought, well, it was from the epinephrine. You know, because this medication has some epinephrine in it. It's a vasoconstrictor. But the truth of the matter is, is the epinephrine's not what causes the change in the color in the skin. It's the pressure in the skin. That didn't hurt that much, did it? No, sir. All right, we're going to make the little incision. Now, we're going to make the incision on your forehead in the same direction as the wrinkles on the forehead, so this won't be very evident. Can we see okay? Am I blocking? No, you're not blocking. Okay. I might block a little bit right now. Yeah, just a little bit. Hopefully it won't be too much. We don't have to make a very large incision. We need a little one here. So we can already Ooh. see you've got some material that's coming out. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm doing good. Doing all right? Good. No, sir. So now we're going to empty this cyst. Let's see what comes out. Hopefully it'll stay up here. Oh, yeah, it's coming right out. Ooh. Now I'm pushing on you. Do you feel much pressure? Yeah. That is white. Oh, you have an impressive amount of material in that cyst. Now this is protein and oil is basically what this is composed of. Cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and remove that. It's like a pimple? Uh, wow, it was like thick. Very like, thick. Almost in one come off. Very thick. Okay. So that came out. We're going to use a curved hemostat. We're going to open this up a little bit more. Now we're going to try to get the sac and the rest of this out for you, okay? Alright. you feel any pain? No. Okay. You got a good view there, Miss Gumby? Yes, sir. Gumby Jean? No dizziness, right? No. Okay. No, he's feeling good. He's like, get rid of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> start talking. Start wearing hats all day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> people are tired of you. Tired of people looking Staring at you saying, at "What it. is that?" Right? Is that growth sticking up as this? All of this forehead. You saying? Someone looks like a third <laughs> eye. <laughs> the old third eye kind. Like a minion. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, that's oh, just mean. Mm -hmm. That's just mean. Yeah. The minion, huh? I'm running out of my four by fours over here. We're gonna do a little flush now. Here we go. Let that bubble out. Make sure we got everything out of there. I'll tell you what, uh, that door did a number on you, didn't it? Uh -huh. I think you're gonna get three little stitches and a band aid mm -hmm. and a lollipop. All right. Way out of here. What do you think? Does that sound good to that you? Sounds good to me. Do you really want a lollipop? <laughs> no, he doesn't really want a lollipop. Only if it's a blueberry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I probably, I think I can You got a, do you got a blueberry lollipop? Mm -hmm. Don't put anything on them, just we want them nice and dry. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna take a shower, put some plastic over it or something? Well, we'll have a dressing over it. Yeah, you want to put a, a, a bandage over it when you get in the shower, okay? okay. You want to keep this area clean and dry. That's the best way to do it. Okay. Isn't that right, Gumby Jean? Yes, sir. All right, give me a little cut on that, please. There you go. Good. We are just about done. Actually, we are done. <laughs> I think that's going to look really good. We're going to find out on Tuesday when you're back to get these out. Hey, folks. You spoke and we listened. Here's what you had to say about Meta7. 
I love it so much. It gives me so much energy during the day. I've noticed a change in my hair, my nails, my blood pressure. There's no doubt that it, it's, it's a benefit to me. It gives me more stamina. And it could actually help you lose weight. Now, I haven't taken a nap in six months. That's right, Meta7. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Weight loss, more energy, and generally feeling more alert during the day. Let's hear more. I used it to help wean myself off caffeine and energy drinks, and my productivity has been very high lately. It's natural, it's amazing. I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm not tired during the day. I've worked 12 hour shifts. Just go, go, go all day. It makes me feel great, I love it, and um, take it. It's wonderful stuff. If you haven't tried Meta7 yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon. Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. There's an Amazon link in the description.